Hi, this is Dr. Osborne, board certified neurosurgeon. And continuing the topic of macronutrients, I'm gonna to talk to you about one that's really important to me as a power lifter, and that's protein. Proteins are the building blocks of muscle, but they also are essential for thousands of metabolic reactions in the form of enzymes, the transportation of molecules, and DNA replication. Absent protein, well, you would be absent. But forget about the biochemistry for now, it's not that important. Just understand that you must eat adequate amounts of protein daily to support your muscle mass and promote tissue recovery after heavy strength training sessions. Your very metabolically expensive muscle will otherwise be shed and shed fast. And this will result in a metabolic slowdown, particularly in the context of a caloric deficit, something you desperately want to avoid. So why is that bad? Because remember, as was discussed in a previous video, and in the pages of my book, Get Serious, your resilience and your resistance to disease is a function of your muscle mass. It's a fact that the stronger are less predisposed to age-related diseases and early death than their weaker counterparts. It's true. Everyone heard the saying, survival of the fittest? Of course you have. It's 100% the truth. So how much protein do you need? For those that strength train aggressively and often, or if you're recovering from surgery, I recommend up to one gram of protein per pound of lean body mass. Great sources of protein are eggs, fish, lean red meat, chicken, turkey, and of course, whey-based protein powders. As with other macronutrients, track your daily protein intake with one of the many apps out there to ensure adequate intake until it becomes intuitive to just how much protein you're eating daily. It's simple. I'll see you in the next video on fats.